What's going on YouTube? It's uh, Max Volumify. Uh, today I'll be showing you guys how to wire a car amplifier and a car subwoofer um, in your house. All right, uh, please bear with me. Um, I have a cold today and I'm not feeling too good. Um, I don't even know why I'm making this video today. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, first things first. If you guys um, if you guys are going to attempt this project, I recommend you guys having uh, a basic um, understanding of the car audio system. All right. So the tools you're going to be needing for this uh, project is uh, electrical tape, uh, solder, and a soldering iron is optional, uh, screwdriver, or Allen key, and a wire cutter, or wire stripper. Um, you're going to need uh, your car amplifier. This is an MTX audio jackhammer. I'm sorry it's upside down, because I don't want the uh, wires to be on this side. Uh, you're going to need your subwoofer, your subwoofer enclosure. Uh, you got to you got to get your RCA cables, your correct wire gauge, your speaker wire, and a um, power supply. All right, so uh, you're gonna have to go out. You're gonna have to uh, pick up your car amplifier. It needs to match the specs with your uh, subwoofer. So that thing, this is a 400 watts RMS, I think. 400 watt or peak music, I'm not sure. 400 watt uh, RMS. Uh, this is a. It's not a monoblock. It's an AB class amplifier. It's a jackhammer, the JH202. This is an 800 watt kicker CVR12. All right, that's the box up there. Okay. Uh, you're gonna need a power supply. All right. Now um, there is a little trick in buying uh, the power supply. All right. Most people on YouTube say that uh, you know if your amplifier is 500 watts and you buy a 500 watt power supply, it should work. No, it doesn't work like that. Uh, you got to get the uh, amperage on the uh, jackhammer or, or on your uh, car amplifier. The amperage on this uh, specific, this JH202 is 30 amps. The amperage on this is 28 amps. All right, now it's 28 amps at 12 volts. This is 30 amps at 12 volts. All right, so this is just below it. Um, most car amplifiers run at 20 amps, I believe, and uh, some songs push it like Bass I Love You or uh, Air Forces, you know, Young Jeezy songs, they push it to about 30 amps, all right? So you need to buy um, the uh, power supply matching the amperage on your uh, amplifier, all right? Next, uh, you need to get your power supply. I'm going to move this over. You need to get your power supply, and you need to get the largest uh, Molex connector. You need to get the 20 or the 24 uh, pin breakaway connector. Okay, this is the uh, one that goes on your motherboard. All right, you need to look at it uh, with the clip on the top. Now, if you look at it carefully, I try and move in. There you go. Uh, you need to short out the third and the fourth wire. All right, so I did it. Um, this is going to be a black and green wire. I don't know if you can see that black and green right there. You need to short those two out. You can do the green with any black. All right. Green is going to be a couple volts. Uh, that simulates the computer starting. That uh, turns on the power supply. All right. There you go. You see it turning on? There we go. All right. That simulates the computer starting up. It sends a couple of volts, like one or two volts, uh, to the uh, to the uh, pin, and it starts up the uh, power supply. Okay. Um, next, uh, you want to unplug it again. All right, and uh, can, let's continue. Now you need to take one of these uh, small connectors. Um, I'm not sure if these are Molex connectors too, but uh, they're going to have a couple of wires on them. They're going to have red, black, and yellow. You're not going to be using any of the red. You're going to be using the yellow, though. Yellow is going to be your battery positive, all right? And black is going to be your ground negative, all right? So what I did was, um, in case the power supply didn't work, I jammed wires into these tiny little holes, okay, and I connected it to my uh, ports right here, all right, and I tightened it with the uh, Allen key. This model uses an Allen key. Most uh, use a screwdriver, uh, but um, yeah, so I put in a couple of wires. I put one wire for the black, one yellow, and you have to short the remote. I don't know if you can see this. This, is, this one right here is the remote. You need to short the remote with the battery positive, all right? So I went and put in a black one, I put in one yellow one, and I um, put in the remote. The remote uh, simulates the car starting up, and it gives power to the amplifiers, which enables it to turn on. 
All right, uh, so what I do is I would put one wire uh, per port. All right, now as you can see, I'm not using the correct gauge wire for the power. And um, you know what? Just go through a couple of cycles, you know, run a couple of songs, keep the amplifier on for a good 20 minutes, all right, and uh, see how it works, okay? Um, if it's working, all right, you're going to find uh, those wires heating up. So what I did was I cut four black, four yellow, and I put in a couple for the remote, and I jammed it in there. The wires, uh, don't o they don't overheat, but when I did it with only one wire, you could see the um, coating on the wire melting off. It was pretty scary. Um, it could lead into, you know, a fire hazard or something. So just be on the safe side, just put a couple wires in there. All right, so again, remote goes to remote to battery positive. Yellow is going to be battery positive, and you're going to have your black for ground negative. All right, uh, next, you're going to need your um, input. All right, so I'm using RCA cables. All right, I'm just going to show you that this turns on. Make sure all my wires are in. Oh, remember to plug it in, guys. All right. There we go. It turns on. Okay. Turn it off. Unplug. Next, you need to uh, get your RCA cables. I got my RCA cable going to my laptop. All right. Uh, depending on your device, you need to set your gain. Uh, I believe iPods and cell phones are just below 1 volt. Uh, laptops and computers are above one volt and uh, aftermarket uh, head units are way over that all right I got my I think my gain set to about five or six all right moving on you need to get your correct gauge speaker wire and wire it up to your subwoofer this is uh, kicker 12 CVR in a Jamo BX um, enclosure all right, um, this is two ohms uh, with two voice coils. I wired them down to one ohm, the amp would overheat. So I wired them up to four ohms in series, it works now. All right, um, I'm gonna show you guys a uh, couple of, well, I'm gonna play one song and show you guys how the subwoofer is. I'm gonna play uh, Thug Motivation 101 by Young Jeezy. Alright guys, so that was a quick test showing you guys uh, 12 inch CVR on a jackhammer. Hope this, got, hope this video uh, helped you guys. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and leave your comments. Uh